Hey guys, Carson here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to connect your electronic drum set to Easy Drummer with just a USB cable. Here's what you're gonna need. A computer, a drum module, Easy Drummer 2, and a USB type B cable. And if you're not sure what that looks like, here's an example. Go ahead and connect the type B end to your drum module and connect the type A end to your computer. If you have a Mac, you may need to utilize a USB hub to get connected. If you are on a PC, you're going to want to download ASIO for All. Now you can find their official homepage here and select the download that's right for you. If you're having issues, I suggest going to Sweetwater's page and using their article that tells you how to download and install ASIO for All. You're going to want to download this if you don't have an audio interface. Now that you've connected your drum module to your computer via USB and you've downloaded and installed ASIO for all, let's go ahead and open up Easy Drummer. Go to Settings, Audio MIDI Setup, and right here on Audio Device, you're going to hit this Device Type drop down, select ASIO. We're going to go to the next drop down for the device. We're going to hit ASIO for all, and we're going to hit Apply. Next, we're going to hit this ASIO control button here. It's going to bring up the control panel for ASIO for All. I'm going to slide this all the way down to about 128. You can try to go lower, um, but this is where I'm going to put it for now. And then you're going to X out of it, hit apply, and you should see these numbers change right here. And once they do, we're going to check the out channels, and make sure it looks like this. I'm going to go to the MIDI device. Make sure you have a checkbox next to the drum module that you're using. It may say something different. I'm using a Roland T17, so that's why mine says this. And we're going to go to the MIDI channel and make sure these say any and hit OK. Next, you're going to go to the menu button in the top right hand corner. Go to settings, eDrums, and you should see two configuration settings here. For MIDI mapping, you're going to select the make of your drum module. I'm using a Roland TD17. So I'm going to select Roland. And for the hi-hat pedal correction, I'm just going to leave mine on default because that's what works best for me. Once you've got everything configured correctly, you should be able to start drumming. Once you have everything connected properly, you're going to open Easy Drummer 2, head to Settings, Audio MIDI Setup. Make sure your audio device output is the built-in output. Make sure your buffer size is at least 128. The lower you go, the less latency you're going to experience, but your machine might have to work a little bit harder to get that, so you might experience scratches and pops. Your results may vary, so just test out what works best for you. For your out channels, make sure they look like this. For your MIDI device, you might need to rescan devices for yours to pop up, and when you do, you should see your drum module pop up and you're going to check the box. And for the MIDI channel, just make sure it says any. Next, you're going to go to the menu in the top right hand corner and go to settings, eDrums, and make sure your MIDI mapping is the make of your drum module. Since I'm using a Roland TD17, I'm going to select Roland and I'm not going to worry about the hi-hat pedal correction here because it I'm not having any issues with my hi-hat, so I'm not going to mess with this. And hit OK.